right, big surprise. We got another package. In here should be another one of these, a beautiful iPhone 12 Pro. So I was just looking around on eBay. I had some money to spend and wanted to see if I could find something that would be a really good and easy eBay flip purchase. And I was looking at iPhone 12s and came across this iPhone 12 Pro for $150 that simply doesn't have a screen. Well, it had a screen, but the OLED and glass have been completely broken off and it's just the metal frame left of the screen. $150 was too good to pass up and the seller claimed it's still connected to a computer. So since I knew it worked and it was fine my iPhone off, I decided to just go ahead and buy it. Okay, before we go any further, I do wanna go ahead and apologize for the huge delay on this video coming out. I know a lot of people were looking forward to it and I announced it like six different times. So I am so sorry about that. My MacBook decided to kill itself. If you saw my community post, you would know that. I ended up taking it to Apple. The guy spent about two hours trying to revive and restore it and he had no luck. So he decided to keep it overnight and keep working on it as soon as the store opened back up. And thank God they were able to get my MacBook Pro working again. I'm not sure what caused it or how they managed to fix it, but they did. And unfortunately they did have to restore it and update it to Mac OS Sonoma. I was previously running Monterey. I'm still debating going back to Monterey, even though Sonoma is actually kind of cool and better than I expected, but Nevertheless, my MacBook Pro is working again, and that's all that matters. Back to the video. Now, without further ado, let's get this box open and take a look at what I managed to get for $150. Now, unfortunately, I did not manage to get my hands on another color iPhone 12 Pro. The only color that I've owned is a blue one, and this one is a blue one, but that's perfectly fine as I am planning to sell it and not keep it anyway. Looks like we have the same slit inside of the bubble wrap that was shown in the eBay photos. We'll go ahead and open up this pouch and remove the iPhone 12 Pro, which is in another pouch. Looks like these stickers are on top of the other pouch, but let's go ahead and remove the phone from the plastic and take a look at the condition. Now, straight away, right off the bat, it looks really, really, really good. And now it's kind of crazy to see a total of three iPhone 12 Pros in my bedroom. That's something I never thought I'd see. This is my other iPhone 12 Pro that has a screen. This one is a dead baseband and the screen has a little OLED blob, but this is a screen that I'm gonna be putting onto this iPhone 12 Pro, which is the one that I just opened up. Right off the bat, the condition looks very, very good. The camera rings appear to just be smudged. There's a couple scratches, of course, here and there, but there are no major gouges or dings in the frame of the phone. And I think that this is gonna turn out to be a really successful eBay flip. And as you can tell, this still has the metal frame from the screen, all the face ID stuff, the pentalobe screws still in the bottom of the phone, but the screen has just been completely ripped off the device. And actually at closer inspection, this appears to be the OLED display itself, which is kind of crazy. I really wonder what happened to this iPhone 12 Pro. And there is some paint chipping up here, like a concrete mark, but for the $160 I paid, that doesn't bother me at all. Now it is time to go ahead and open up my dead iPhone 12 Pro. The phone itself works fine, but it's got a dead baseband. It has no battery in it as I, when I repaired my red iPhone 12, the battery that I put in there at first ended up expanding and being bad. So I had to take the battery out of here. So now it's not gonna have a battery or a screen on it, but it doesn't work and that doesn't bother me. So, so let's just go ahead and get started by opening up this iPhone 12 Pro and then we'll put this screen onto this one. Okay, it's now time to first go ahead and open up my good condition iPhone 12 Pro and take the display off so that I can put it onto here. So we're gonna start off by taking this off and I'll get back to you guys once this is finished. Okay, so I've now gone ahead and gotten the screen off of my good iPhone 12 Pro and it still has the speaker from there. But before I transfer all the Face ID stuff, I do want to at least go ahead and check out this phone and make sure that it is working and test it. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this device and put this screen on here without securing anything down and do some basic testing. Now I immediately came to the realization that one of the Penelope screws in the new iPhone 12 Pro is stripped out completely. So thankfully this screen is completely gone and I can just brute force it off, but that is unfortunate. I will have to find another screw to use in the place of this one after I remove it from the inside as 
I don't have another one to put here as of right now. Okay, so upon opening the phone, I am met with very clearly a phone that someone has been inside of before, which isn't exactly a very good sign. I'm gonna put this other screen on. There are no shields on the inside of this phone. I didn't even have to brute force that screw as these were already pushed down. I'm gonna put this screen on and test it, but this is definitely somewhat concerning in my opinion. All right, I've gotten the screen plugged up. Hopefully I'm just gonna pray that this works. I'm definitely on edge about this. The back of the screen had RM scribbled on it. The camera has RM scribbled on it. And holding down the power button does not result in anything. I'm gonna plug this in and see if it shows me any sign of life and let it charge up for a little bit and I will get back to you guys. A few moments later. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so and the phone has booted up to what looks to be a completely fresh setup of iOS 16. And I checked the version, it was 16.1.1. I've also confirmed it is a 128 gigabyte. Now the device is showing a face ID issue and that's because I did not transfer the speaker from the old screen yet. So I am yet to do that. And of course there is the display message because this is not the original screen. That's that OLED blob I was talking about. It's not bad at all and definitely shouldn't bring down the value of the phone by more than 30, $40 or so. I should still be able to get quite a decent flip out of this iPhone 12 Pro. All the cameras are working fine. The microphone and speaker works, Wi-Fi is working as, as I've already tested all this. And now it's just time to go ahead, transfer this old speaker, put the one bracket that I do have for my other 12 Pro onto here and see if I have another bracket with screws somewhere and seal up this iPhone 12 Pro. Let's get started. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Before I went ahead and took the speaker off here, I thought back to when I was opening the phone up and realized that when I opened it, the display cable on the inside for this broken display was already detached. So I went ahead and reattached it and uh, the old display does actually function. There's no touch. You could see the time. You could see it does have a pink and green line in it. Of course, there is no touch at all. Then this has begun to look like a failed OLED refurbishing job as I could see what looks to be the lines from removing the glass off of the OLED. The brightness is so low because I don't have the speaker assembly connected, so there is no proximity sensor or ambient light sensor, which means it can't control the brightness and it sets to zero. But I just thought it was interesting to see that the old display, even in its current state, does actually work, albeit with no touch. Anyways, enough yapping and messing around. Anyways, enough yapping and messing around. Let's go ahead and get this speaker off of here put it on the new screen and get the phone sealed up. Okay, so since there is a pretty severely stripped pen lobe screw inside of this iPhone 12 Pro, I am going to go ahead and off camera bend it so that I'm able to unscrew it from the inside and take it out as it'd be really difficult to film. And then I'm gonna finish putting the phone back together. One hour later. Okay, so after trying for about an hour with various different methods, I just simply could not get this screw out. So for now, it's just gonna stay in here. Uh, I didn't have any super glue, so I couldn't try using super glue. Uh, for now, screw will stay in here. It may still be in there when I sell it, but I'm not sure. So the screen will only be secured with one screw, but in reality, it only really needs one. So this shouldn't be too big of an issue. It's time to finally put that new screen on and seal up the phone to conclude the video. so here we are the repair is finished now like i said i did not get that other pen lobe screw out 
if I can think of another way to get it out or find super glue, I will remove it before I sell it. If not, it may just stay in there. Now I have tested face ID is working flawlessly on this iPhone 12 pro. Now that I have the front earpiece speaker transferred, I'll show you the battery health is 88%. Like I said before and showed this is running iOS 16.1.1. And the only issue is that the display was replaced. It's a 128 gigabyte and is locked to T-Mobile. Although there may be a possibility that I may be able to get it unlocked. I'm going to be listing this on eBay. I'm not sure of the price yet. So if you'd like to check it out and possibly buy this on eBay, I'll put a link to my eBay down in the description. I will have this up very soon. And of course, if you have any questions about it, just contact me through eBay. So this leaves my other iPhone 12 Pro with a missing battery and just an OLED display, which is really unfortunate. But this one has a dead baseband and it just sits on a shelf as display next to the box. So that doesn't really matter that much. The only damage to the frame on this iPhone 12 Pro is some nicking in the upper left corner. It looks like it was dropped pretty hard on some concrete. The screen has some very minimal scratches along with this small OLED blob in it. The back cameras don't look incredible. I can definitely clean them up to look better. A lot of this is smudging, but they do have some minor scratches on them. The back glass is immaculate with a couple of dust pressure marks from being inside of the case. But other than that, this phone is in great condition and I'm definitely very satisfied with the $150 that I spent to get my hands on this iPhone 12 Pro. This actually really reminds me of what my iPhone 12 Pro was like before the baseband died. I actually used my iPhone 12 Pro on iOS 16.1.2 right before the baseband died. And it's still on that version. And I distinctly remember using the Dynamic Cow Dynamic Island as that was back last spring when that first released. And that's just bringing back memories for me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this repair video. I surely did. And I thought this was an incredible deal and I'm very satisfied with what I got my hands on. Now, if you're new here, please consider subscribing as only 26.7% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you're new, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and it'll help me in reaching my goal of 4,000 subscribers. And yes, this is my blue iPhone XR. I still can't get over how pretty this is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Check this out on eBay. And as always, peace out guys.